Today I'm doing an unusual video where I rank the entirety of the MCU up until the end of phase 4 where we're at now because I feel like it. I don't know. I don't have perfect memory and this is my opinion so if you don't agree then that's because you have a different opinion. So yeah. Well anyway I am doing this in chronological order so let's start with Iron Man. So Iron Man. This is the movie that started it all. A good start to the MCU. I'm gonna put it at great tier. It's definitely great although there are also definitely several movies that that are better than this. The Incredible Hulk, people say it's bad, but um, in my opinion, I think it's more okay because uh, the fight scenes are pretty cool even though not all of it makes total sense and it could be more entertaining. So yeah, okay tier. Iron Man 2, this one's definitely worse than Iron Man, though uh, it's not that bad. I'm gonna put it on the okay tier, though a little bit worse than The Incredible Hulk. Now Thor, I'm deciding between good and okay because there's nothing really that special about this. You know what? I'll put it on the good tier. I I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be nice. Captain America the First Avenger. It's good, but there are lots of movies better than it as well, so I'm gonna put it on the good tier. The Avengers. Now this is a classic. This, this is at least great tier. It's, de it's better than Iron Man. It's not as epic as some other movies, although it is up there. Iron Man 3. This one was okay. I think it was pretty cool. To compare it to Thor, I'd probably say it's it's about even so i'm gonna put it on the good tier a little over thor all the suits fighting at the end and the pain he goes through it's pretty cool not that i like pain but you know okay thor the dark world this was a very unremarkable movie i'm gonna put it at the bad tier although um it is better than a few other ones just it's not very good for mcu standards captain america the winter soldier this one is very good however i have a select few for the greatest so i'm not gonna I'm not gonna put it quite at the greatest. It's pretty close to the Avengers. The fight scenes are cool. I'll put it a little bit under the Avengers. Guardians of the Galaxy. This is like the first full showcase of Thanos. Pretty cool. I think it's a good story, though it could be better. I'll put it on the good tier, but like above Captain America. What? How do I do this? There we go. Avengers Age of Ultron. This one was, was good, but not great for an Avengers movie. I'll put it right here. Ant-Man. This was definitely a fun movie, although lots of it didn't make sense. Like, are the atoms getting closer together? Are they physically shrinking? How does he go subatomic? Due to how funny it is, I'm gonna put it at the good tier. Like, on the top of the good tier. Civil War. This is a great movie. Still not one of the greatest, but the face-off with all those new heroes and stuff, that, that was cool. It's about on par with Captain America the Winter Soldier. It's pretty close to the Avengers too, so I'm gonna put it here. Doctor Strange just has one of the most overpowered characters. Actually, two of the most, because there's Doctor Strange and there's Dormammu. It is definitely a good movie, but great? I don't know about that. I'm gonna put it here. Actually, I'm gonna derank Thor. I'm gonna put him at the top of the okay tier. Gar Guardians of the Galaxy 2. It was good, but like, I don't think it was quite as good as Guardians of the Galaxy. I'll put it between these two. Spider-Man Homecoming. This is a good movie. I actually really like Tom Holland's Spider-Man, contrary to what some other people think. I'll have to put this on the great tier. Uh, where though? Uh, probably like right in between these two. Thor Ragnarok. This is gonna be the first entry in our The Greatest tier, because this, this was just epic. Like Thor unlocking his true potential and stuff and all, all this epic stuff with Hela and Hulk. It was really cool. Black Panther. This is gonna be up here on the top of the great tier. I don't think it's quite as good as Thor Ragnarok, but it's definitely very good. Uh, Avengers Infinity War. This was like the first part of the biggest crossover in the MCU and possibly in movie history up until that point. And this is definitely on the greatest tier, though is it better than Thor Ragnarok? I'd say it's a little bit better. Ant-Man and the Wasp. It's kind of like Ant-Man a little bit worse, I feel like. You know what? I'll, I'll put it here. It's pretty close to Doctor Strange for me. Captain Marvel. This was, like, a really mid-movie. She's really overpowered, but, like, I don't know. It, it wasn't very remarkable. I'll put it up here next to Hulk. Avengers Endgame. This is an amazing movie. I don't care what you say. This is, like, the best crossover event in history, and just the final battle was amazing, so I'm gonna have to put this at the top of the greatest tier. Possibly the best MCU movie to date. In my opinion, it is at least. Spider-Man Far From Home. I actually really like this movie. Some people didn't like it as much as others, but uh, it's pretty close to Homecoming. I'll put it a little bit over it. 
I'm actually gonna put the Avengers a little bit before these Captain America movies. The Avengers seems pretty similar to the Spider-Man ones. Okay, now we're getting into the TV shows. WandaVision? I had a lot of fun with this. This is definitely a very good TV show, but in terms of where it falls on the great rank, probably in between Avengers and Captain America. Falcon and the Winter Soldier? This was good, but it could have definitely been better. It wasn't WandaVision level. I'll put it somewhere in the middle here. Yeah, like right there. Loki? This was very good. It had some of the multiverse stuff that I wanted to see. It's probably better than Black Panther in my opinion, although it's also worse than Ragnarok. I don't know if I should put this in the great or the greatest, but in terms of TV shows, this is the greatest TV show, so I'll put it there. Black Widow. This one was very mid. Taskmaster was kind of like very messed up. They could have done a much better job on that. I'll put it here. Actually, I feel like Iron Man 2 goes a little above Holt. What if? This was very fun for me. I think it's about level with WandaVision. Has some cool multiverse stuff. So, great tier. Shang-Chi, that would either be good tier or great tier. Has some cool um, action, cool story. I think I'm gonna put it on the good tier, but where? How about here? The Eternals. It wasn't very good. Too many characters. Plot didn't make much sense. And just some of the, the scenes I didn't like. So, I'm gonna put this below or above Thor The Dark World. Maybe a little bit below honestly. I didn't like it. Hawkeye. This was good. It was kind of mid though. I'm gonna put it at the top of the okay tier. Spider-Man No Way Home. This is the best MCU Spider-Man movie in my opinion. The only Spider-Man movie better than this for me is actually uh, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. You should definitely watch that if you haven't. Underrated movie. This would go up here with the others. It's about on par with Thor Ragnarok, maybe a little bit above, so I'll put it there. Moon Knight, this was great. It's pretty similar to the other ones, maybe a little bit above What If and WandaVision. We are nearing the end. Next up is Doctor Strange in the Mom, or Multiverse of Madness. I don't know why I said it like that. It was kind of good, but like, I don't know, it seemed kind of demonic. It definitely could have had more multiverse in it. That's the biggest problem. I did like it though. I'll probably put it at the bottom of the good tier. Now, Miss Marvel. This was very meh. I didn't like it that much. Probably in between Iron Man 2 and Hulk. Thor Love and Thunder. This movie didn't make much sense. Thor had had so much character development and then all of a sudden he was back to very similar to how he was in the first Thor movie, which is not good. It undid what happened in Thor Ragnarok because he unlocked these special powers that he didn't need a weapon for and all of a sudden he's totally dependent on Stormbreaker and he can also like give his powers to people whenever he feels like. Why didn't he do that in Avengers Endgame? Probably gonna put it at the bottom of the K okay tier. Actually, this was kind of bad. Pretty similar to Thor The Dark World. I am Groot. This was fine. I mean, it was kind of funny, so it was good, but it could have been better. I'm gonna put this in between these two. Seems about right. She-Hulk. If you've seen the memes, you know how bad this is. Although they do exaggerate a little bit, this is just bad. It's cringe. It's it's not good. It doesn't make much sense. It's below Eternals, yeah. Werewolf by Night. Kind of dark stuff right here. I liked it, though. It wasn't one of the greatest, but like... Like, it was good. So, probably somewhere in here. Better than I'm Groot. Maybe here, yeah. I'm actually gonna move Shang-Chi down one. I'm Groot. Actually, it's probably worse than Avengers Age of Ultron. And Avengers Age of Ultron is probably actually better than these two. Last two, Wakanda Forever. This was a good movie. It's not very special, in my opinion. It had a good tribute to Chadwick Boseman. It's better than Multiverse of Madness in, like, these. You know what? Why did I put Guardians of the Galaxy 2 so low? probably like right here but Wakanda forever good tier I actually like it it's just not as good as the great one so I'm gonna put it at the top of the good tier Guardians of the Galaxy the holiday special I'm pretty sure it was just Marvel's attempts to make a holiday classic so that they watch it every year I didn't like it very much I'm gonna put this on the okay tier probably below the Hulk Hawkeye actually it's pretty similar to the Winter Soldier so I'm gonna put it like right there that seems good this is the finished tier list for me if you have any differing opinions let me know in the comments below and I hope you enjoyed so see ya subscribe